now that the midterm elections are over, um, we see the Republicans are pressuring the president to really have small government and to cut back spending. But it's ironic that they may suggest that, which they had been trying in the past, that unemployment to the um, Unemployment insurance to the employed should be sort of curtailed or cut back or, or eliminated. Now, I'm not sure if uh, the Republicans are good at history, but recent history has shown that in Europe uh, there's a whole bunch of social unrest for um, cutbacks. Um, England, the students are protesting because the um, rates will go up, um, tuition, and so on so that I'm not sure why they would do this. Now, um, on the other hand, you have the economic reality. I think in America, they, um, when you spend a dollar, it probably goes wrong about 20 times, the multiply effect, so that even if it goes wrong 10 times, and you spend $1 and it generates $10, then if your tax rate is about, um, let me say, 25%. It means that when you spend $1, dollar, you get getting back $2.50 in taxes. Now, it may not be as straightforward as this since people are doing it, um, planning and, and they try to cover various gains and with loss and they try to, you know, come out, uh, benefit themselves more. It's not straight that the tax goes. But nevertheless, it adds to the GDP, which adds to uh, a GDP that moves closer to full employment. So while I understand that... Um, you know, the debt, the debt, the debt, the debt. I mean, it might be a little more dangerous to um, make a maneuver like that to make life unbearable for such a mass. And as um, the president has said, these individuals did not put themselves in that position. And um, I don't want to expand this further, but just to say that it's, it's funny that individuals would want to cut out unemployment insurance when um, they're impeding um, you know, efforts by the president to have uh, a stimulus that would work. I mean, when the stimulus came out and they talk about shovel ready, I thought you know, they would have been fixing the bridges and, and the highways across the country. But then each person starts to ask for a little thing in his little district and here in this district and so forth, so that then they come saying that the money was spent and no jobs were created. I mean, I don't understand what's going on with this uh, picture here. However, I don't think that the unemployed is the ones that we should really um, do the cut back on. Perhaps um, we should raise taxes on the on the rich folks and and, and let the uh, unemployed basically you know ride this out because um, again it has a, a, a positive economic um, spin plus we're gonna get back that money more in tax. You see, I, I often wonder why even the states and the county governments and the city governments are laying off people because okay you are short probably about a billion dollars. And you love enough people to cover that billion. But then next year, it will be a billion. You're going to be short. You're going to be short four billion. So why not just hold, you know, your spending steady? Or perhaps increase it a little more and be efficient in collecting your taxes. I mean, these are things that folks should look at. So we need to create the jobs and um, stop the foreclosures. And then, you know, things are going to improve. So I don't think it's a good idea to really, um, you know, put these folks who are, uh, you know, not working on the, uh, you know, on the soup kitchen lines.